Here's the RAGBRAI forecast for today. Now here's the weather forecast video for Tuesday, July the 24th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening. We have some cloudiness with some showers and storms over New England, over the upper Midwest and high plains. And otherwise, it's fairly quiet across the country with hot weather over the central and southern plains. And that's shown here with the watch warning map. Hot, 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 hot with heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, thunderstorm watch in New England, and some red flag warnings in Montana, and it's quiet elsewhere. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock shows some decent amounts of rain across the northern tier of the country. We're upwards of two to three inches and around here maybe a half an inch or three quarters of an inch over the next several days with several rounds of possible storms with the zero z gfs modern run come here coming here at 1 p.m this afternoon the center of the heat over the middle and lower mississippi valley at this point and at the surface some showers and storms are possible across the at least the upper midwest mainly to our north and northeast but some could slip into the state during the afternoon and evening hours but mainly here on Wednesday a uh, slightly better chance of some showers and thunderstorms just to our north but yet again could clip into our northern counties with some storms in that area Thursday a frontal system will be coming through GFS isn't too bullish with the possible rain here but it should be coming through Wednesday night into Thursday and be gone by Thursday afternoon and Friday it's clear it's gone all the triple digit heat and 90s almost entirely gone now we have 80s for highs to end the week maybe a few low 90s in the south and west Saturday high pressure overhead some semi cool nights well 60 degrees is going to be considered to be cold with highs in the lower to middle 80s maybe some upper 80s in the west and Sunday another complex of showers and thunderstorms will be coming in with the possible return of the heat unfortunately it had to come back and it could come back early next week Monday still could see some showers and thunderstorms the core of the heat is just to our south and west and temperatures will be approaching 90 or maybe even the lower 90s by that point across the state and a week from today, there's the center of the heat just to our south and west. Still have a northwesterly flow aloft with the trough over uh, the Great Lakes and the New England states. And at the surface, we'll still have a, a system moving away from us at that point. And temperatures uh, still maybe a couple of degrees either side of 90. So at least it's not a couple of degrees either side of 100 like it's been. A couple days later on August the 4th, we have a dip in the jet stream around here but the main storm track still to our north but no real heat around here and we could see some shower and thunderstorm activity with that across the area but it'll be very isolated at this point and no real cold weather or hot weather and even toward the end of the forecast here on the 8th of August eh, there's no real heat dome and Storm track is still near the U.S. and Canadian border, but at least it's coming closer to us. So we could see some activity by then, and we GFS is showing a possible tropical system. Seems like we haven't talked about that lady, but or lately, but it's likely to return this month. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Wednesday.